Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about how to combine like terms. You can get the Combining Like Terms worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. Before we do any practice problems from our Combining Like Terms worksheet, I wanted to briefly go over what a like term actually is. Now there's a couple ways to identify like terms, and I'm going to go over the most common. Any term that has the same variable combination is a like term. First of all, a variable is any letter that's used to represent a number. So typically this would be like X or Y, you will usually see in math class. But it could also be a combination of variables. So it could be like X and Y put together. Sometimes you'll see AB as a combination or MN. So any term that would have some type of variable or variable combination would be a like term with any other term that had the same variable or the same variable combination. The other type of like terms are what are called constants. Now a constant is just a fancy math way of saying any plain old regular number. So this would be anything so anything that's a number, so it could be like 3 and 5 and 11, those are all going to be like terms. And anytime you have numbers in your problem or in your expression, they are automatically like terms and you can combine them. Let's jump to the first problem on our combining like terms worksheet. Number one gives us 1 plus 4x plus 3. So remember, a like term are any terms that have the same variable combination or if they are constants or numbers. So in this case, we have a 1 and we have a 3 in our expression. And because they are constants, they can be combined together. And the second type of term we have is this 4x. And this 4x has no other term with x's, so it does not get added to the constants. So because this has a x, this is its own like term, and these do not have x's, so you cannot combine the 4x with the 3 or the 1 because they also do not have x's. All you're actually going to combine is the 1 and the 3. So this 4x comes down, so we have 4x here, and then we have to combine 1 plus 3, and 1 plus 3 is 4, so our solution is 4x plus 4. Jumping down to number 3, we have negative 3x minus 5 plus 6. In this case, we have like terms, but they are the terms that have the x's. So this negative 3x and this 6x are like terms because they both have the variable combination of the x. Now this minus 5, in this case, is not a like term with anything else because there is no other constant in this expression to combine it with. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine negative 3x plus 6x and negative 3x plus 6x is positive 3x. And then this minus 5 or this negative 5 comes straight down. So our solution is 3x minus 5. The next problem to show you how to do combining like terms is number 5. This problem gives us 25 plus 11x minus 10 minus 5x. The first thing we have to do is we have to identify which terms are like terms. The way we do that is we look at the problem and we look for terms that have the same variable combination or are constants. In this case we have 11x and 5x and I know that they are like terms because they both have an x. And because they both have x's, that means that they're like terms and you can combine those two together. The second thing I notice is that we have constants. In this case, we have 25 and we have negative 10. They are both numbers, which means that they are automatically like terms. Now we're going to combine them. So I know that 11x minus 5x get combined. So 11x minus 5x will give us 6x. And then we combine 25 and negative 10, and then we do 25 minus 10, and 25 minus 10 is 15. So our answer is 6x plus 15. 
The final problem we're going to go over for showing you how to combine like terms is going to be number 6. This problem gives us 10x plus 3x plus 4x minus 10. So remember the first thing we have to do is we have to determine which terms are like terms. In this case 10x and 4x are like terms because they both have the same variable which is x and 3 which is a constant or a number can be combined with negative 10 because it is also a constant and a number. When we combine these, the first thing we're going to combine is 10x plus 4x, which is 14x, and then positive 3 minus 10, that gives us negative 7. So our final answer for this one is 14x minus 7. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.